Okay, let me try to record this real fast. Let's see if you can get a look at the video of the batch files I had to make for my menu system that I made. Oops, didn't mean to actually run it. That's for the main menu. When you type in each one of the numbers, it loads up one of these batch files that are numbered. Then it loads up the game. And then after the game, it reloads the games menu again. This one right here is the Need for Speed one that has to mount the ISO inside a DOS as a drive letter. Right there at the top right here is where it has to, it loads it and then mounts it under drive letter in and then down here it goes back to the games menu again after it's done and that was what, that's what all the batch files are that's all they are there, there just turns the prompt back to normal that way it goes to drive letter C again so you're back in regular DOS and my auto exec bat file like that. And that's my DOS section right right there. That's my DOS section. And then one more. I can fix this file. That's when it first boots up, it asks me if I want to run Windows or DOS. This right here is what it loads up if you pick DOS. You pick Windows, it doesn't do anything. Because if it loads this stuff, Windows money won't be if it loads this driver right here. Alrighty.